Welcome to the SHMS Student News. I am Gabby. Today is Thursday, October 31st, and it's a red day. Happy Halloween. Today's lunch options are macaroni and cheese with mini corn dogs, variety called salads and sandwiches, hamburger, cheeseburger, or black bean burger, or turkey burger with fixings. The book fair is coming, starting Friday, November 1st, and running through Thursday, November 7th. SHMS will be hosting a scholastic book fair in the library. All students will get a sneak peek of the fair during English class, and then it will open during conferences. Come support reading at our school, and check out the awesome new titles, including a brand new Diary of Olympic Hood book, number 13, Wrecking Ball. November Flex registration is closed. Check your collab email for their confirmation message. November Flex begins tomorrow. This week is Spirit Week. Tomorrow is High School Spirit Wear Day and Free Hat Day. Wear your high school colors proudly. Have you checked the Lost and Found lately? Please do. It's in the cafeteria. All items will be donated to local charity after conferences. Hi. Today we are here with Ms. Ketter to interview about the Dia de los Mortos. She's the LOL teacher. Ms. Ketter, the first question I want to ask is what is ELL? ELL is English Language Learners. It's for scholars who are learning English as an additional language. So most scholars speak at least one other or two or three more languages apart from English. So what is the Day of the Dead? Day of, a, Day of the Dead is a tradition that stems back prior to colonization in Mexico. So it's a very old tradition and it's a way that we express love for, um, express our love for people who have passed away, who as we say have journeyed on. So we usually make ofrendas or altars and usually in Mexico they're on the grave at the cemetery. Um, it's a way to continue expressing love for someone after they've passed away because when somebody dies, your love for them doesn't die. So it's a way to continue expressing that and keep their memory alive. So what are the typical items on the ofrenda? This is, um, that the answer to that question depends on where you are in Mexico. Different regions celebrate differently and put different things on their altar or have people over in different ways. But typically, um, there will be photos of the person, a photo of the person, um, and their favorite foods. We usually play their favorite music. We tell stories about them. And our culture is very based on science and on duality. So the duality of death is life, and the duality of life is death. So we have the four elements on our ofrendas that keep people alive, that you can't live without. So those four elements are air, water, earth, and sun. So you'll, saw, you'll see papel picado. That represents air, because when the wind blows, you can, you know, it moves around. Um, you will see candles, and that represents the sun. Usually you'll see a glass of water in the front that because we are all made of water and you can't live without water. And then usually there will be um, sempasuchil flowers um, that represent the earth. In our culture, we believe that spirits love the smell of sempasuchil. What do you personally do to celebrate De Los Muertos? In my family, we always make an altar in our home. It's about this size, so it takes up half the living room. And we put on um, the pictures of our loved ones who have passed away. And I tell my son stories about his grandparents that he never met, that we believe, you know, still live inside of him. So he knows a lot about, like, his great-grandparents or his great-great-grandparents. And it's a happy time. We sing songs, um, traditional songs for them. And, yeah, we just have a great time. Um, sometimes I dance in the community because um, you'll see that a lot of people dance as well. Um, we paint half of our face as a skeleton and leave the other half how it is. That represents the duality of life and death. So why do you celebrate Dia de Muertos? That's a really good question. For me personally, 
it's a really important time of the year because um like i mentioned before there's people in your family or in your life who you love and when they die um you still love them so it's a really healthy way to continue loving that person and expressing your love for them whereas halloween is scary and death is the end Dia de los Muertos celebrates that their life continues and your love for them continues. It's also important to me because I want my son to know where he comes from. And so I like telling him stories about all the people on the altar. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ms. Ketter. Back to you guys. Today will be cloudy and cold with a high of 38 degrees. Have a terrorizing Thursday and please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.